Like most artists, I have been using a pencil to create artwork since I could hold one, whether it was in school, at the back of the class, getting in trouble, or on my own at home, it has been an integral part of my learning experience. But lately, I have been feeling like I've fallen out of love with pencil, and it has been causing me way more grief than enriching art time. I feel like I needed a change, something to bring me back from the depths of terrible art block, and just re-kickstart my passion for sketching and for creating with dry media. So this year, I finally took the leap and introduced ink into my art kit full time and as my main source of sketching fun. Now, this is not to say that pencil is terrible, never use pencils again, but I wanted to share with you my experience of why I decided to toss my pencils in the trash, but how ink has also helped me grow and develop as an artist and strengthen my drawing skills more than my pencils ever have. The first thing on my list is that ink forces you to draw what you see and really create lines with meaning. As we know, ink is permanent, so each line has to have purpose, whether it is starting off with a very light, thin construction drawing or coming in feeling bold and confident with permanent thick lines. Ink challenges you to really see your reference and to work on that eye to hand coordination. I always found that with pencil, I relied too heavily on my eraser. Much like Control Z on the computer when working digitally, I knew that I was able to go back and change things that I made mistakes on. And although this is a very awesome perk to have, I found it to be quite debilitating. And especially as I grew in my art career, it just got worse. Instead of erasing minor changes, continuing to draw, I was erasing entire pieces huge chunks of drawings until it was completely perfect. And believe me, my sketching is far from perfect, so you can just imagine that I was wasting a lot of time and I barely got any drawing done. Nothing completed, nothing. And this was a huge cause of frustration for me. I usually ended up walking away from my studio more mad than feeling blessed and accomplished. With ink, I was forced to accept my mistakes. A wayward line? Yep, it's there. Permanent to stare at me forever, <laughs> but my only choices were to learn from it and alter it in another drawing later on, or to cover over it with some thicker, more permanent looking lines and create a very sketchy, organic looking drawing. Now, although this is very challenging, it was a welcomed one and one that left me feeling brain drained, but proud and felt good. I noticed that the more I used ink, the better my sketches and drawings became and the more confident I was in how the medium worked, but also how my brain works and my style with ink. I was seeing shapes within references that I didn't see before, more in tune to detail and their placements because I know that I have to get it just right the first time in order to proceed further in this drawing. So I'm very curious your thoughts on this and I'm always open and encourage art conversations is how do you feel about this? Do you like having an eraser in your art toolkit or no? If you haven't tried ink, would you? Let me know in the comments below, but this is my biggest perk with ink is that it really challenges you to focus on what you're seeing in front of you and get that down onto your paper and really to just accept your mistakes. If you make a mistake, you can fix it or try your best. And if not, we move on. We're not getting stuck in this rut of just draw a race, draw a race. We're really kind of just putting a period to the end of the sentence. In addition to ink challenging us with drawing what we see, ink is also a very versatile medium that has a lot more flexibility than most think. Using ink as our medium allows us to create variations in our line weight and create some very dynamic looking drawings. Now, because most ink pens are available in sets, they range from the finest size at 0.05 upwards to one to three levels of thickness, which are very bold, broad lines. I I tend to use my 0.05s for my light under sketches and construction lines and increase the thickness and weight of these lines as I solidify the anatomy and the shape of my drawing. Not only does this make the first stage of ink drawing less stressful, it also is naturally teaching us how to hold our pens and our pen pressure as we draw. Now we are forced to draw lighter, less heavy handed. So all of my artists out there, including myself, who hold their pencil like it's the last chicken nugget in the 10 pack and your sibling is trying to eat it, this is for you. 
It naturally helps us ease up and relax, really relax that wrist and that hand. Using less pen pressure also has the benefit that it helps us cover up any of our errors. So if our error is completed at the beginning stage with the finest pens possible, all of the thicker pens on top of these layers will cover over any miscalculations or wayward lines we may face. I think this has to be one of the biggest misconceptions about ink products is that there is no way to fix an error. And although that error might always be there and we as the artist know it's there, a viewer may not be able to tell by the time you are finished covering over it with bolder strokes, or there is the option to use a Posca pen, whiteout, or acrylic white paint to hit the restart button and redo an area if need be. There are always ways we can adjust our drawing to fit our liking, and if there is, in your opinion, no possible way that the drawing is fixable, we can always just go ahead and restart. We've learned a valuable lesson and we can move forward. In that difficulty, we have grown as an artist. Lastly, with ink, drawings typically don't smudge or fade over time. One of the biggest complaints with pencil is that without some type of fixative, my pencil drawings would always end up muddy, smudgy, and usually all over my hands or all over the other pages in my sketchbook. Now, it kept keeping a record of my sketches more difficult as through the years, my sketchbooks were being slammed against each other, pressed on in a closet, or maybe even on my backpack on the way to school, and the pages would rub and the drawings would lose its luster. Not to mention, since then, I have no longer had to sharpen any pencils continuously, which is, in my opinion, an added bonus. I think it is important to note that art is about creating what and with what you love. Through my YouTube channel, I have made it my goal to challenge fellow artists, give advice based on my experience, and create a community that is filled with incredible, wonderful people with a love for art and for education. Now, even though I may have decided not to use pencil in my art moving forward, it does not mean I dislike or discourage others from using it too. I only hope that you give ink a try, introduce it to your art kit and maybe you'll find a brand new style to fall in love with and something to switch up your art with now and then. I'd love to hear your thoughts and if you do decide to start sketching and drawing with ink instead, keep me updated. Let me know how it goes, the pros, the cons, and your thoughts so far. I'd love to hear from you. If you're excited to get started, you've got your ink kit beside you ready to draw, be sure to check out this ink video where I teach you how to paint your very own leopard in ink.